Hello guys, how are you doing? I recently um, needed to play a shaman quest and I was looking for some new fun shaman decks to look for. And I found the deck made by Strifeco. He's playing an Enthus uh, shaman deck. So the deck is pretty strong. Um, I've, currently I'm so far 5-0 with it. And as you can see in the deck list, we are using the Ancestral Spirit on the shamans. Uh, to create even more death rattle minions going against the hunter here so we definitely need some some destruction early on the deck is more of a control deck so you will need your time and you will win in the late game you're running two lightning storms two elemental destructions Parts like the storm crack, the lava shock, and of course the Hala Zeal to get life back. The hunter matchup is a bit tougher for the deck, even though we are running a lot of towns. But it's always a possibility that the hunter just overruns us. So dropping the Doomsayer here. It's hard for him to kill the Doomsayer and we will prevent his turn 3. So we will likely only attack with the flame juggler and the steady shot. Could of course play the um, weapon as well, but still then he can't kill the doomsayer. So he's hitting us for five. And let's see what we do here. We could use the healing wave already to heal. Or we could draw two more cards and then play the lava shock next turn. Yeah, let's do this. Draw two more cards, another healing wave, and also a lightning storm. The animal companion will bring them the Misha, also playing the fairy bat. With the lava shock, we are killing the bat. Then we have the storm crack here to kill the Misha. With the coin in hand, we can still play the Earth Elemental on turn 5. That's a carrying rub, 2 5, and a huge toad. Another lightning storm. So if we play the earth elemental now we will have uh, 3 mana next turn. So we could either play the hex if he's playing the high main or we could also play the lightning storm or of course the um, elemental destruction but this card in general um, we will play it if we have the halazil or the lava shock so otherwise uh, with overload 5 too much of our mana is um, locked next turn. Another flame juggler. He's hitting the earth elemental. Let's see. So he's losing both minions and then put out the quick shot. I think from below we can't play it at the moment and I don't want to play much this turn we don't want to hex the flame juggler so we are just dropping the healing wave here and get back some heal we should win the, the joust in most cases oh so there's the halazil we are getting full life back Using the hero power, Flame Juggle is attacking as well. We are down to 26 and he's not playing anything else. So that's not too shabby for us. We will just play the hero power, getting the healing totem and drop the thing from below. He's now at 8 mana, so it's possible uh, that he's playing Call of the Wild. 
That's only the Kodo, so the healing totem is gone and you also have the deadly shot to kill the thing from below. Uh, Zelvana is great here if we play the elemental destruction next turn and he's dropping cards like the high man or stuff. I have no time for games. Oh, let's play the Zelvana. We also get the Zeering totem. Eaglehorn bow and unleash the hounds. Let's see what he's doing. It looks like he wants to go straight to the face, but that's not a problem. We have the healing wave here, so we will be back at uh, maybe even 30 if we can win the joust. And this board will be vanished next turn with the lightning storm or the elemental destruction. So he's attacking the Zulvana and killing it with the flame juggler. We are getting the Kodo, which is great. So we are just uh, using the hero power here, getting the spell damage totem. Then we are killing the hound. And also healing back with the healing wave. And not winning the joust, so we are only getting 7 life back at 25 at the moment. And there is really no need to play anything else here. The high main is an easy target for the hex. And there's the end zoos. We could play it already. We have the Zavana, so there is some value there. Now let's kill it with the hex. It's a beast, so I want to get rid of the frog right away. Otherwise, we could have uh, just attacked the face first. Another high main. That's nice for him. And also unleash the hounds. So he's killing the Kodo. And there's the Hollow Zeal. Oh, let's see. We have uh, the Hollow Zeal. We can put out the elemental destruction and definitely kill the high main. And we would have enough mana to also kill one of the Hyanes. Oh, so the Halazil is gone. In this case, we will just use the hero power and kill his minions next turn of the lightning storm. Getting another hex, which is great. We are playing the lightning storm here and also the lightning bolt. So his whole board is vanished. Still, he hasn't played any Call of the Wild. And that's only an infested wolf. Let's hex the minion here. It already played uh, both high mains. So there is not a big target otherwise. He could have uh, he could also play the Ragnaros, but the most decks he isn't there. But with the Kine, we are dropping it, uh, playing the Ancestral Spirit on it. Also using the Hero Power. So if the Kine dies now, we will get another one. And of course the Death Rattle.
Prepare to call of the wild. Giving us four six. And another spirit. So we have the Anthus in hand. Uh, we will drop another spirit on the blood half. Playing the elemental destruction. Getting more minions on the board. And also we can then play the Anthus. And get even more blood halves out of it. We need to be aware of our life here. We only have 10 left. Hopefully we're getting a town. No, that's only a healing totem. We are making 13 damage. So he will be dead next turn. We have the lava shock that will be two extra damage and also the lightning bolt if he's putting out minions. It already played both Unleash the Hounds. So hopefully that's, that's enough here, the 10 mana as a 10 life. That's the kill command. A hound master. Quick shot. So that's not enough, he will die. Second game is again Shaman versus Hunter. It's not a good starting hand here. Lightning Storm is alright. Let's redraw these three cards. Getting a Lava Shock, Stormquake, and the Ancestral Spirit. Nothing on turn one, that's great. We are already getting the infested town again. Yeah, that's a huge tote. That one will get killed right away with the storm crack. Flame Juggler, so more to the face. Let's drop the Doomsayer here, that's a great card. He might not be able to uh, kill it. He has no beast on the board, so a kill command won't help him. He was only hitting for 4 to the face. Losing his minion and we can then drop the Infested Tower on turn 4. Oh, there's also the Earth Elemental. We have the Lava Shock, so if we play the Earth Elemental now, we can then play the Lava Shock next turn and unlock our Overload Mana Crystals. And then also put out the Ancestral Spirit on the Earth Elemental. Greatly that the high main. So the earth elemental can easily kill the high main. And we are playing then the ancestral spirit. We also have the lightning storm here. So let's see. We are firstly attacking his minion. Then we are playing the lava shock. So that one will get killed for sure. Dropping the spirit here on the earth elemental. Oining and lightning storm will kill his whole board. If we want to, we can use the healing wave to uh, heal, heal back the earth elemental as well.
Now we can't. He's killing it with a quick shot. And the deadly shot only hits infested Tauron. Oh, so thanks for that. Five mana left. We of course play the Drake. And getting ancestral knowledge, nine to the face. Next turn, I like to play the Sylvana. And then we can put it onto a 10 later on the Enthuth for some good value. Putting out only the Hound, there's a kill command, so he's killing the Earth Elemental. Two more to the face, I guess. Yeah, that's a steady shot. Also getting the Blood Hub, let's see, he has 8 mana. So it might be able that he uh, has the call of the wild. In this case we are putting out the Sylvana and not the blood half. Also another totem. And six more to the face. Might be that we are winning next turn. Don't need the end in this way. There's a call of the wild. And he's just hitting the face, it's not very good uh, can we win here can we win here if we attack with the Sylvana we might get the Huffa and then we win the game uh, let's uh, let's draw two more cards another healing wave and the hex is the hex enough yeah it is so let's hex it kill it we can also heal something back here and 11 to the face Oh, another victory against the Hunter. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other content as well. You can also follow me on Twitter and Twitch as well as supporting me on Patreon.com. Thanks for watching the video and see you soon.